But today, uh, I went to go get the mail, and I left our front door open. And at some point, when I was just busy going through my daily life, I looked down, and <laughs> their dog was just like, hi, in the room. And I, I had like a, Bruh! moment. Because if you're not expecting a dog in your house, because you don't have a dog, and then you turn around, and there's this thing just like, hello! You're like, Bruh! it's a giant rat! I mean, to be fair, living in London, the chances of y your, your house getting burgled by a giant rat happens about three times a day. So you can m maybe kind of relate to me there. Um, but this dog appeared and I was like, oh, right, I left the door open. It's here. Well, no one seems to be complaining, so I'll just have fun with you for a bit. So I got on the floor and I was just baby talking to the dog. He's, he's a good boy. You're a good boy. Look at you. Oh, you're muddy. Oh, you're getting mud on me. Oh, you're getting mud on all of my possessions. But that's okay, because you're still a good boy. And everything you do is valid, Mr. Dog. So you just dribble on me and you get me muddy. And that's okay, because I live to serve. And I was just, I, I was just doing some emails, doing some editing. And the dog was just there and I was stroking it. And then I heard some, like, kerfuffle downstairs. And I was like, oh, the neighbours, I'll go, like, tell them that the dog's here. So I was like, come on, come on, dog. And then I met the neighbour and she was like, oh, my God, you found him! And I was like, excuse me. They're like, oh, we've been looking for an hour! You, you've been what? Sorry, did I miss something? And they were like, we left the door open and we thought that the dog had run away! And I was like, shit, they don't know that I left my... They thought the dog had just run out into the road and died or literally gone to another country, or something, like the dog had run to a ran now, across the landmass. But it was literally just in the office in our apartment, and I was just stroking it. And then I just didn't think to tell anyone, because I just liked it in the room, until I heard them in the hallway. Um, so I was just like, ha <laughs> cool! Closed the door and went upstairs, and I was like, I totally kidnapped, I kidnapped my neighbour's dog. They, they were like, nearly crying. Irresponsible pet owner, said somebody. Maybe. I don't know. The, the dog just chills quite a lot. I think it's just the, the amount of time it was gone and the fact that it wasn't in the hallway or their apartment. They were probably like, where did the dog go? I don't think they'd think, oh, it went into the neighbor's house and they kept it for an hour. Because that's a normal thing that, that people do with other people's pets. But yeah, that's, that's what I did. Everyone's saying, what kind of dog was it? I'm not sure. I think it was some kind of terrier. It was small and black, fluffy, a bit ratty, and muddy. All I know is, it was a good boy. I presume it's a boy. I think he's a boy. He was a good boy. Even if you're a girl, you can be a good boy if you're a dog. Oh, yeah. Boys in Pan Am said, what do you think of EXO? I think they're good. Scottish Terrier, says everybody. I'll Google that. Was it a Scottish Terrier? Dan, well, no. I mean, what's a Scottish Terrier when it's not group? It was, like, more fluffy... I think it was, uh, let me see, breeds of terry, oh my god, I just googled breeds chart and there's like five million. Okay, terriers, here we go. Um, Australian bought, this is the best thing I've done today, a cairn terrier. It looked a bit Norfolk terrier? I feel like it was a Norfolk terrier. Or was it a Norwich terrier? I think it was a black Norfolk terrier. There you go. Shit, there's dog breed charts on the internet. Now I know what I'm doing with my life, are you kidding me? Uh,